Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosanna. So in today's video, just like the title says, Mel Thompson and Lisa J forced me into buying these Charlotte Tilbury quads. Now, about a month ago, I was watching Mel Thompson and I think she was ranking her top 20 Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows. I, I cannot remember. But anyway, so I was like, mm, let me just check this out. Now, let me preface. Um, I really don't have many um, Charlotte Tilbury products, but we'll get to that in a second. But anyway, so I really, you know, I like small compact kind of products like like my eyeshadows i like them like on a smaller version so i really do enjoy um her quads but um yeah so we really wanted to see all right girl which ones are your favorite but anyway two in particular really stood out to me but with an asterisk because i got my eyeballs on you on that fire rose like it's still not back yet but I'm trying really hard. And then about a week ago, I was watching Lisa J and she said she was, you know, on her way to Nordstrom's to do a pickup order. And, you know, of course she watched Mel Thompson and there was uh, one of the limited editions, the uh, flawless, which one was that? The flawless eye filter luxury palettes. I think there's three of them. But anyway, so she picked up one of those and I was like, all right, the stars are aligning. I have to do it. I have to pick them up. So let me just tell you right away what I picked up. So, and by the way, I did pick these up at Nordstrom's. Let me see if um, on their website, if they're even available. Yes, I could see one right off the bat. It is. So I did pick up the, let's see here, the Hollywood Flawless Eye Filter um, Luxury Palette. And this one is in Star Aura. Let me just open them. I didn't even open them yet. I'm so super de duper excited. Now, let me just tell you, I am in my early 50s. I do have texture on my eyelids. So me personally, you guys do whatever you want. I like to be um, very specific when I use any kind of shimmer on my eyes. So let me just see. Oh, that is so beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, that is so stinking pretty. I smell everything. I don't know why, but I smell it. That is beautiful. So this is the Hollywood Flawless Eye Filter Luxury Palette. And again, I see it right here on her website. They are $53. It is a limited edition. And let's see. Oh, and by the way, her um, new Hollywood Flawless Eye Filter their Palette, there's three of them. So that one is in Star Aura that I picked up. And then the other one is in Diva Light, which is beautiful too. And then the last one is in Eyes of a Star. But you know, this one, you know, Mel liked. So this one, Rosie picked up. So that was that one. And then um, Mel, she cracked me up. She was doing her... Um, her description of her sophisticate sophisticate it was so cute so of course i will link both videos below so you guys could check it out yourselves but anyway she was cracking me up she kept on saying the sophisticate palette she kept on calling it sophisticate but anyway um yes yeah, so i picked that one up because of course first of all that's what the color that she had on her eye and second of all i can't remember the last time i did like a full matte i'm just opening it right now i'm so excited Oh my God, like, does anybody else, like when they open up like a product that takes your breath away? Look how beautiful that is. Girls and boys, do not mind my nails. They are atrocious. Like I've said in my previous videos, we are doing some renovation here, so why bother? I'm like hammering and nailing and sewing. That's not true, but I am building stuff. You know, I like to build stuff, put stuff together. So why, why do the nails when they're gonna just get all janked up? But anyway, look how beautiful that is. Ooh. Ooh, I'm so super excited. So I did pick up those two and those are the two that we're going to play with today. I want to um, try and do like three looks out of it. I want to just use, um, which I got to tell you the truth, this is making me a little nervous because I see shimmer, but I really want to try it. I wanted to do just one eye look with this one and then one eye look with this and then we're going to mix the two together. Let me just go back and let you know what I do have of Charlotte Tilbury. By the way, everything that I have on my face will be listed down below. But what I do have, and by the way, I believe this was Mel Thompson's number one um, quad. It's so beautiful. This is in the Pillow Talk Luxury Palette. It, like I said, it was beautiful. And I want to say the original 
pillow talk i think they were all shimmers that's what kind of threw me off because like i said i'm not really i try to keep it to a minimum but as you can see in my other videos i always have it on my eyes i just love it but i have to be careful with it this is absolutely gorgeous 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 so i do have that one and i did pick up this um bejeweled eyes to hypnotize beautiful 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 palette right over here there you go but i have to be totally honest I don't know why I just don't grab it more than I should. You know what I think? Like, again, like I said in the beginning, I really think it's because it's kind of big and I like my, you know, my products compact. So, but, um, yeah, I don't really grab this as much as I really should, but I really want to. And now that I'm looking at it, I may just dip in back and forth just to accessorize a couple of these. I'm not really sure. These I do pick up a lot. These are the, um, the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize. So, so pretty. This one is in Sunset Rose. I'm going to just show it to you. That is so freaking beautiful. Look at that. How beautiful is that? And I'll just like, you know, smear it on my eye. I'll blend it out with a brush and call it a day. It is so beautiful. And of course, this one is an Oyster Pearl. This was the first one I picked up. It's so beautiful. And let me just tell you why it's new. Because, um, yes, my daughter came back from college and uh, mom you think i could take this with me of course you can of course i'm not going to say no to her but um then i have to replace it and then now she now she catches on mom i'm not going to take any of your stuff because every time you say oh yeah girl you can have it you go back and replace it I, I can't help it i have to replace it but before we get into this video i would love 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 for you to subscribe to my channel you could also ring the bell it would give you notifications of when i post which is every tuesday and every saturday between one and two ish um but anyway that was a long introduction so i'm going to zoom you in and without further ado let's get started with this makeup tutorial okay cool here we go so i think i'm going to start off yeah i think i'm going to start off with the hollywood um flawless eye filter luxury palette in the um star aura that is so pretty that's so pretty now again now right away i'm getting nervous because um you know what let's just watch these first do they have a colors on them? No. Prime Enhanced Define and Smoke. Okay, so, ooh, that is, oh, that is so pretty. So I'm going to just swatch these little lovers. Yeah. Okay, so that, actually the, the darker one, the darkest one on here. Okay, so here they are. They are so beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? So I think I'm going to just use the darker color just to do the transition color ever so gingerly. So I am using uh, the BK Beauty 201 that I absolutely love. By the way, I will also link down Lisa's um, brushes from BK Beauty. So I'm going to pick up this one right over here first. And I want to put that... Uh, okay, I had to take like the little uh, plasticky thing off the mirror because I really just want to use this mirror. So I'm going to go ever so gingerly. And I know I say that all the time. Yeah, see, this is so beautiful. And although it is shimmery, it doesn't like accentuate texture. Ooh, that is so pretty. Isn't that nice? So that is so, so pretty. And again, speaking of shimmer, I don't like any kind of shimmer underneath my brow bone. So I will either take like whatever finishing powder, like the Charlotte Tilbury, I have it in white in number one because I like it light. I'll either, either put it up here or then I also use, I want to say it's the S, is it Essence Banana Brightening Eye? Anyway, that I use underneath um, my eye to set my concealer. I'll also put that up on top, but we'll see. We will see. Actually, you know, we may dig, this is so pretty. This is beautiful. We may dig into, um, actually, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to just do one eye with um, just this palette and we're going to do the other eye with the other palette and we'll just do it that way. And then we will go back in and mix them both. That's what we're going to do. Or else, girl, we will be here forever. This is beautiful. This almost reminds me of uh, her, eyes to her eyes to mesmerize. Um, not the consistency, of course, because one is a cream. But the end result looks almost the same. It looks so beautiful. Wow. That is so, so pretty. Ooh, that's beautiful. Okay, so we're going to do that. 
and then what I want to do I may not even use all four of them what we want to do is I'm gonna pack um, I just want to pack the outer third I think with the let's see here the number the 203 and I want to say I'm gonna use this pinkish color yeah this pinkish color right over here so and this is like a flatter brush if you could see that and I'm gonna just do uh, just fill up the side with it and I think I'm gonna just ooh that is so pretty oh my gosh that is gorgeous that is so so pretty Wow that is so pretty and then I'm gonna just take my finger and I'm gonna use this color right over here and I'm gonna put it on the inner oh that is so nice I'm gonna just put it right over here oh gosh that is good mm, that's pretty oh that is so so pretty Mm, isn't that beautiful? Okay, I want to go in just a little bit. I'm going to take this pencil brush, the 207, and I'm going to go back into that darker color, and I just want to define this right over here. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. And they were absolutely right. I don't know how this is working, but this shimmer does not look like it accentuates anything that is beautiful wow so now of course I want to put like a little bit of matte over here but we're not going to do it so this is the look on this side so I'm going to do both um, eyes and then we will put some eyeliner and some mascara and um, we'll see so this is the first look Okay, cool. So now we're going to go into the other eye. I'm like so excited. I love mattes. And the older I've gotten, the more I'm gearing towards cooler colors. I always thought I, like, I was a warm kind of girl. but So I'm going to go back in. This is They're clean, but they're dirty. But like I said, I have tons of, um, I have tons of these BK Beauties. So we just used this one. So we're going to use this one. And I'm going to start off with the lightest. Actually, let's swatch these as well. They are so freaking buttery and delicious. So, um, ooh, that is so, so pretty. So this right over here, so this right here, that is um, the Sophisticate. Sophisticate. Now, why do I have to say Sophisticate? Sophisticate. And then this one over here was the Star Aura. So we're going to use this one next. And like I said, I'm going to take the lightest shade. Oh, you know what? I really wanted to um, use a primer, darn it, but oh well. And technically, I really don't use primers. Like, I always forget, like, here we are. So I guess we will see if these hold up all day. So I'm just putting on just this color right over here as a base. And then I'm going to go into this color right over here with the same brush. Ooh, isn't that nice? So, so nice. And I think I'm gonna take um, my refer number two and just pack on one of the colors. That is so pretty. Okay, so that is the look on this side. Okay, so I'm going to just step off for a second, put on some mascara and some eyeliner, and then we will be right back. 
Okay, so this is the final look. Look how beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So this eye right here is the Star Aura. It is so beautiful. I just used one of the colors um, in the Bejeweled just for the inner corner. I used this color right here in Dream Glow right over here just to highlight the corner. But how beautiful, beautiful, beautiful is this palette? I will tell you, I am shocked because I will tell you the truth. I was very, very, very concerned that they were all shimmer. But just like Lisa said, the shimmer is completely beautiful. It doesn't accentuate. It's just so gorgeous. I'm going to do a close-up of this eye. Look how beautiful. And then on this side, of course, it's the Sophisticate or Sophisticate, however you want it. How beautiful. I haven't done like a matte probably in a long, long time. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love like the richness of this um, outer color, which is this. I don't know if it's like a, it's almost like a grayish brown taupey kind of color. It is so beautiful. Let me zoom in for that one. How gorgeous is this? So yes, these are the two looks and now let's get started on the very last look. Okay, so I did not have my mic on, so I'm not sure if we heard any of that. So let me just go back real quick. I used this color over here all over the base of my eye from my eyelashes to my eyebrow and then I used this for my transition right over here whoops this for my transition right over here and now I'm going into this color right here in the star aura I absolutely love it just in case you did not hear me before this is probably going to be one of my favorite um, colors even though they're all shimmers and I will not lie I was a little nervous but these shimmers do not show texture it is so so beautiful and like I was saying before I do have hooded eyes so I just go right on my eyebrow bone I feel it and then I go right above it and then I look straight ahead can you see it can you see uh, the product and that's where I place it. This is so beautiful. Yes, I will say this is probably going to be one of my favorite colors. And by the way, thank you, Mel. Thank you, Lisa. These are beautiful, beautiful recommendations. Wow, that is gorgeous. Ooh, that is so, so pretty. I'm going to take whatever is left on the brush, which is hardly anything. And I'm just going to go in my natural crease because I do like that shadowy kind of look. And for some reason, this I has like this extra crease in here that I have to get in there. Okay, great. That looks so, so beautiful. Now, I actually, I'm going to use the other side of this brush because I am in love with this color right over here. I can't put my finger on it of what it is. And I'm going to put this on my eyelid right over here. Ooh, that is so beautiful. I don't know what it is. But this color is really, really beautiful. Oops, I went too low here. We could clean that up later on. Mm, I just love this beautiful matte color. That is so pretty. Ooh, isn't that beautiful? Ooh, that is so, so nice. And again, I'm going to just really, really lightly, with a light, light touch, whatever's left on the product, I just want to go like right on my eyelid, but so, so gingerly and so, so light. That is beautiful. I'm going to go back in with, let's see, I'm going to go back in with, oh, I think I must have put the brush back. Yeah. And I'm going to go back in with the um, Star Aura. I just love this color. I just don't want it to fade away. That is so pretty. That is gorgeous. Ooh, that's so pretty. So now with my finger, I want to put this over my eyelid. I really, really love this. This is, I really, really love this matte. Well, I knew I was going to love it. I knew I was going to love it. And I haven't used a matte, in like a full matte in such a long time. I have really forgotten how beautiful mats are they're so beautiful
let's see do I feel like I'm done mm, I think I'm done I want to say I want to be done be done with it I want to be done but I really want to just darken this up right over here I love this color this is so pretty This color right over here and this just use that in my inner corner and this is the number three the refer number three. Oh, look how pretty that is isn't that beautiful that is so pretty I think I'm gonna take it right over here as well just to attach it that is beautiful Mm, I think I'm done. So let me just go put on some eyeliner, some mascara, and we will finish off this video. Okay, so this is the final look. I think it came out so, so beautiful. I absolutely, I love them alone. I'm shocked because of that um, star aura had all shimmers. I was a little nervous. It looks beautiful. I love them alone. This sophisticated, it, it is very sophisticated. It is so beautiful. I can't remember the last time I've worn a full matte um, eyeshadow look. It is so beautiful. And of course, this is beautiful. This is in combination with both palettes. They are gorgeous. So, yep, that's it guys. This is my video on the two Charlotte Tilbury um, eyeshadow quads that were recommended to me by Mel Thompson and Lisa J. Yep, so that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me some comments down below. Um, yep, that's it. Be good to each other, love each other, and have a great, great day. Bye!